Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I have for you some that I've been working on for more than a week. As you read in the title, I've fully automated all pizzas, cherry pies and cheese boards. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the cards for all the pizzas with this seed, uh, but with the help of the plate up in a smart mod, I was able to load all the assets needed for it and attempt to show you what the optimal setup for pizza would be. If you have uh, any uh, better ideas or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, how would you have done it or what could be improved? Yeah. Uh, also, if you want to learn more and try out the plate enhancement mod, you can find a link for it in the description, as well as a link for my video explaining how to install it. Now, I will just run you through my first my setup. First, I'd like to start with the production of bases for the pieces. Uh, in this area, you can find on the top right the flower is turned into a ball using a combiner to mix water and oil at the same time. Then the mashed tomato is also combined to the pizza dough. Uh, for mashing the tomato, I'm using two rapid mixers. Uh, I've tried with a single conveyor mixer to save some space but I always had a problem that in the beginning of the day this was too slow to keep up with all the customers and it would bottleneck the whole production uh, especially after I got the morning rush card I definitely had to increase the speed of the pizza based production <coughs> then coming from the bottom I have the cheese going into a conveyor mixer and then combining with the pizza base now I used two smart grabbers so that this is only pulled out of the freezer once everything is combined, combined to avoid any problems if the cheese takes too long to be ready. From here the cheese pizza goes into two directions. On the right side it goes into a teleporter number one where it uh, feeds two safety hubs uh, that cooks the cheese pizza which is then portioned directly from the hob and into two frozen frames. Both of these feed into, a tele into the teleporter number 4 where it is plated and sent to the teleporter 7 to be served in the middle of the two dining tables. Going back to the pizza base production, the pizzas that are pulled to the left can go two ways again. The first one goes into a freezer where it is combined with the sliced onion and then it's fed to teleporter number 2. This teleporter sends the pieces into two safety hubs, uh, you can see it on the bottom side of the restaurant. And then similar to a cheese pizza, it's portioned out of the safety hubs and sent to two frozen preps. And finally sent to the teleporter number 6 where it is plated and sent to the teleporter number 9 to be served to the customer. The other option is for the pizza bases to go into the other freezer and be combined with chopped mushrooms. From here a grabber and a rotating grabber send the pizzas to two safety hubs and then they are portioned. Uh, just like the other ones they are sent to frozen preps and then to teleporter number 5 to be plated and to teleporter number 8 to be served. Now I have the desserts. With this seed I got cherry pies and cheese boards. Uh, for the pies I use a simple system, similar to what you've seen in my previous video named uh, All Pies Automation. You can check it out in the card above on the top right corner. The flour is kneaded by the right mixer into pie crust, then I pre-cook the dough in the safety hub and store it in the frozen prep. After that, the crust goes into another safety hub where it is combined with cherries and then cooked. After cooking, goes into another frozen prep and then is sent to teleporter number 11. The cheese boards are a bit tricky and most people don't actually like them because we need to retrieve the, the board from the table along with the dirty dishes. Uh, for me that was also a problem and uh, one of the reasons that I couldn't go longer in this run 
Uh, however, the retrieval system is very easy to set up, as you can see here. Similar to all the plates, the boards are pulled by the grabbers into the dirty dishes area. But before they go into this rack, which they can't go into, there is a smart grabber grabbing these boards and sending them back to the, back, uh, the board rack. From this board rack they go into the teleporter 12, where they are combined with the cheese and the chopped apples. And then the smart grabber takes them and combines with the nuts. Just before they are sent to the teleporter 13 to be served to the customers. Apart from the retrieval of the boards, cheese boards are actually great, uh, it's very easy to automate them and each board serves up to 3 customers which is great when you want to have only this as a dessert option. Uh, in the next few weeks I will release a video with a few tricks and tips for plate up and this will be one of those tips. So subscribe to learn all of the advantages of cheese boards as well as some other very useful tips to improve your scores. Finally, I have the busing and dishwashing uh, which had to be manual because uh, the space was completely occupied with the rest of the automations. Once again, I'm using a wash basin to collect 4 dishes uh, and then wash them in one go. You can also see, see me placing the dishes manually in the rack sometimes because at this point in the game the grabbers become too slow to handle this amount of dishes. Uh, yeah, another small spoiler, I'm also working on a couple of videos to help you understand how you can improve the dishwashing system in your game as well as fully automate it. And that's it, I believe that uh, is my explanation for my setup. If you have any questions or suggestions leave it in the comments please. If there is anything that you would like me to try let me know as well. As I've mentioned, I have several of the videos planned that I think that you will enjoy, so please subscribe so that you don't miss on them, and if you enjoyed this one you can always leave a like. I'll let you sit back and relax, uh, and enjoy the rest of the video now, so thank you very much for being with me today, I'll see you on the next one, and if I'm not back until Christmas I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Bye!